He's coming for me. I know he is. I can hear his heavy, unsteady footsteps out in the hallway. He has a shotgun. I heard him rummaging around his closet looking for it. I knew this day would come. I knew that fucker would just lose what sanity he barely had in the first place and kill me. I knew it. I heard him lock my bedroom door, but I know he's willing to break it down. Even though he's such a short and out of shape man, I know in his drunken psychotic fit he can break that door down. I hear him stop right outside of my bedroom. I can hear his heavy breathing. He begins pounding on the door and demanding for me to open it. At first gently, but there is a tense tremor in his voice that makes me uneasy that tells me not to trust him. He continues to knock, louder and more aggressively now. Each time his fist hits against the door, I flinch. I curl up on the corner of my bed with my back pressed against the cold wall. I wrap my arms around my legs and I cry softly. He's going to kill me. I'm going to die here, miles and miles away from my family. I'm going to die at the hands of some psychotic, abusive fuck. He hits the door harder as if he's trying to break it in this time. He's yelling, screaming. He's calling me a bitch and a filthy slut, a cock tease. He's telling me how he's going to hurt me if I don't open the door. He's going to blow my goddamn brains out. I crawl towards my bedroom window and manage to pry it open. The cold night air blows against my face, chilling me. I don't bother with jeans or shoes. I climb out of the window and lower myself to the ground below. My legs are shaking so badly that I nearly fall. The wooden fence is too tall to get over. I have to get around to the front of the house and pray to some pitiful god that he won't see me. Before I can even reach the gate door, he's out of the window and behind me. I hear the gun. I hear his heavy labor breathing. I hear it go off and feel something hot, then nothing at all.